Hey guys, old guy on a bike. Hey, got a little tech tip for you because it is Tech Tuesday. Talking about a seat pack I've been using that I really, really like. I'm just going to share it with you real quick in case you're looking for a seat pack like I was. Here we go. So here's the thing with most seat packs and why I was looking for one that I thought would be better. They're basically a little bag that you put underneath your seat, your saddle, right? However you want to say it. And they hold your goodies pretty well. They come in different sizes, different, different fanciness and whatnot. But basically, they're just a little bag that you put all your stuff in. But here's the thing about a bag. It's not very organized, is it? And so most of those saddlebags, you just put everything in there and you can kind of stick it in there with some organization. You got your tube, maybe a patch kit, maybe a multi-tool, quick fills, et cetera, et cetera, all in its kind of in its own little place. Thing is, they're all rubbing together, aren't they? They're all trying to occupy the same spot. And when you take one thing out, if what you need to get is bigger than, the, than anything else that's in there, the whole thing comes apart. You got to take everything all out, dump it kind of on the ground, start all over again. So organizationally, they're kind of lacking, even though functionally, they get the job done. So I thought maybe I'd want a tool roll, because the idea of a tool roll, you know, you, you got like this, it's this unrolls, it's got little slots, kind of like if you were a mechanic, you'd have all your wrenches in a little tool roll, you know what I'm talking about? That appealed to me, and I thought maybe that's the idea, because everything would have its own little slot and stay in its own little slot, and you just get one thing out at a time. The problem with the tool roll, though, is... In order, to, in order to get any one thing out, you got to take the whole darn thing off of your bike. And that's kind of a bummer where the seat bag, well, you can just unzip it, take one thing out or two things, and then leave it on your bike. So that's not so great with the tool roll. The other thing with the tool roll is, is as you roll it, the tool roll's material is adding to the diameter of the pack. And so it gets fatter than you might think once you put all your stuff in it. So for me, the tool roll, that really wasn't perfect either. I tried one from... Silka, thought maybe it was going to be great, had a little boa dial, was kind of fancy, but it was just a fiddly thing. And the problem, other with, the other problem with it is the shape of it, because if it gets too wide, then your, your legs hit it when you pedal. It should be tapered. Otherwise, um, yeah, I hate to pedal and hit something with my legs. And so that thing, between the fiddly kind of way it closed and the, the way that it um, kind of stayed wide and flat, like a, like a squished burrito, that wasn't so good. And uh, so that tool roll, that eh, was a bit of a fail. So maybe I found something that's kind of in the middle. It's kind of in the middle between a tool roll and a bag, seat bag, if you will. This is made by Speed Sleeve. And when you open it up, you can see it's kind of a hybrid. It's kind of half tool roll and half bag. When you open it up, you can see it's got compartments for the different things. I've, I've been working through and kind of tweaking what I carry and, and the different tools and things I have. I'm still working on that. When you roll it back up again, it just kind of rolls, semi-rolls, semi-folds, and then there's a little stretchy bit that kind of stretches over the, uh, the sides of it to keep things all secure. And then when it straps underneath your, your saddle, it's got a very, very nice wide Velcro strap that's real easy to put, real simple, no boa dials required. So check out the speed sleeve. It's very good. Now, here's another thought. Got a new multi-tool the other day. Well, I'll talk about it because it goes to function of the tool you have in your pack. Two stories. I had a multi-tool I've been carrying for quite a while. I had a chain breaker built into it. It was an older one. And it's very nice to, very nice multi-tool. And I thought, you know what? I was uh, putting a chain on my on my bike packing bike. I thought, let's see if that will work for the for the uh, for chain breaking. It didn't. It absolutely would not push the pin out. In fact if I had tried, I would have broken I'm certainly that a little aluminum chain breaker that was built into the multi-tool that was so light and shiny looking, but it sure did look pretty. So test your tools before you use them, which takes me to example two. This weekend, um, past weekend, I was at Sea Otter and I picked up this little Topeak, um, little uh, multi-tool, it's the number nine, the Nano 9, I can't remember, I'll put it up on the screen or show you a picture of it. Quite nice, very light, very tidy, has about the right amount of bits on it for the bike and it had a Interesting way of giving you an eight millimeter Allen. Now, most multi-tools, a lot of them don't have an eight millimeter. Some do if you get a big enough one. What's an eight millimeter for? Well, that's a pretty big wrench. How about the bolt that holds your bottom, your cranks to your bottom bracket? Hold your cranks together. That's typically an eight millimeter. Now, that isn't something you normally would ever have to worry about 
faffing around with on the trail. I mean, if one does come loose because it maybe was improperly installed or it's damaged, at least a multi-tool with an eight, you could snug it back down and keep riding. There's another place though on this bike where an eight millimeter is being used. And that is the bolt that holds on my SRAM UDH drailer hanger to the frame. That's an eight millimeter. Now that is something that I need to be able to do because I carry a spare derailleur hanger on this bike, the UDH, the little SRAM one. But if I can't get that eight millimeter bolt off, having a spare hanger, if I bend one out there, will do me no good at all. So I took my little Topeak multi-tool and the way they make an eight is they take two little bits and they kind of put them side by side. One's a flat, like a screwdriver, and one is a six millimeter, if I remember right, Allen. When you put them together, it gives you the width of an eight millimeter. And I thought, well, that doesn't look very, very strong. And so I used it to see if I could break loose the UDH bolt on my hanger. And it didn't really felt like it wanted to do that. It felt like either the tool was going to give or I was going to round out the actual piece. Now, what I've been carrying on this bike is this old park tool um, multi-tool that I don't even know where I got it. Probably was a gimme from, from some bike show. It's got a six millimeter Allen with an eight millimeter socket bit, so to speak, on it. And that I was able to break the UDH fixing bolt loose and properly torque it again. And so even though the park tool is heavier and doesn't give me any more bits than the, than the really nice uh, toe peak, the toe peak eight millimeter won't do what I need to do on this bike reliably. So it's just another way of saying check your tools out that you're carrying and make sure they will actually do what you need them to do when you need them to do it. All right, that's it. But check out the uh, speed sleeve. They come in a couple different sizes. I think this is the medium. I think they have a small, not sure they may have a large too. Check it out. It is a, a quite a nice pack. And so far I've had no reason to actually look for anything else. All right, that's it for Tech Tuesday. Sorry, I was long winded, but just had some things to share with you. Oh, by the way, what do you think about the clothing I'm wearing? This is this nice casual jersey? Got the hat, got some shorts here. These are, uh, these are actually, yeah, you can get see the wrinkles in my, yeah, actually the wrinkles aren't in the shorts, the wrinkles are in my legs, ha! Anyway, this is a nice cargo short. These actually are not bibs, they're just a short. They do make a bib short. This is by Rab, and they're an outfit that I got, I came to know a little bit from Sea Otter, and they've been around a long time. I think they're, they're mostly UK based, but they make some really, really nice stuff. I'm going to be wearing some more of the stuff. I'll be telling you about it. All right. Enough of this old guy talking to you about tech things on this Tuesday. You guys have a great week and or weekend. Go ride your bikes.